Use callback, a hook used for memoizing functions to prevent unnecessary re-renders of child components. Not to be confused with use memo, where use memo memoizes the return values of functions, use callback memoizes the entire function. To demonstrate this, I want to show you an example where we have no choice but to use use callback, and using any other hook like use memo will just not work, which will give us a clear understanding of when to use each hook. And if you haven't seen my previous use memo video, I highly recommend checking it out because both these hooks are closely related, and understanding one hook would help you understand the other. In this example, I have an array of objects called to-dos and a parent component as well as a child component. Now the parent component has a state and whenever this button is clicked the count state will increment by one. Now underneath that I'm calling the to-do section child component and I'm passing down to it a prop called get to-dos and get to-dos is this function that is just simply returning the to-do from the array of objects. Now if I scroll down to the to-do section child component you will see I have a state for the to-dos and its initial value is an empty array and whenever I get a to-do that to-do will be stored within this array for it to be rendered from this child component. Now the issue lies within this use effect hook as this use effect hook has a dependency of get to do's which is this function that is being passed down as a prop from the parent component. Now at the moment there isn't really an issue because if I click the plus one button it will just grab the next to do but that is only because the parent component only has one state in it. If I decide to go ahead and say add another state and I'll call it reverse count to differentiate it from the count state and then just add the boilerplate to show that state in my browser what will happen is I'll be able to add the second to do but when I press the minus one button for the reverse count state the second to do would show up indicating that the child component got re-rendered whenever the state for the parent component changes and that is regardless of which state whether it's the count state or the reverse count state and that is due to the fact that we are passing a function down as a prop so whenever the parent component gets re-rendered this function will get recreated. Now in order to prevent this issue we want the get to do's function to only get recreated when the count state changes and not when the reverse count state changes and in order to do that we need to wrap this get to do's function inside of a use callback hook and just like use memo use callback takes in two arguments the first will be the function that we want to memoize and the second argument will be the dependencies of when we want to run this function and we want this function to only run when the count state changes now if i go ahead and save the page and refresh it i'll be able to add to do's but whenever i press minus one the reverse count state will change without affecting any of the to do's now the main difference between use callback and use memo is that use callback returns a function which is why when we pass the get to do's function down as a prop we were able to call that function from the child component and that can be useful if this function took in arguments that later on it was meant to access it from the parent component. However, this function does not take in arguments so I'll remove it and the only time you would want to use use memo is when you're not going to be calling the function but rather you only want the return value of the function itself. So the moral of the story is, whenever you want to memoize a return value of a function, use memo is the hook you are looking for, and whenever you're passing down an entire function as a prop to a child component, use callback is the hook you are looking for. And I think I'm going to end things there, so if you've enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and on that bombshell, thanks for watching.